Hey everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Bugs Buzz and Beyond, where we explore the hidden lives of the tiniest creatures shaping our world. Today, we're zooming in on one of nature's most fascinating and fierce little insects, the Formica ant. You may have seen these reddish-brown ants crawling around forests, gardens, or maybe even your backyard. But trust me, there's so much more to them than meets the eye. Our topic for today is for Micah Ant. The name for mica comes from Latin, meaning simply ant. It's also where the word formic acid originates. The very acid these ants can spray as a defense mechanism. For mica ants belong to a large genus of ants found mostly in the northern hemisphere, including North America, Europe, and parts of Asia. There are over 200 species of Formica ants, each with its own unique characteristics. You might recognize some of them by their common names, like the redwood ant, field ant, or thatching ant. They're usually medium-sized, with reddish or brownish bodies, and black abdomens. But don't be fooled by their small size. These ants are powerhouses in their ecosystems. They build massive nests, protect their territories fiercely, and even engage in something close to warfare with other colonies. Some scientists even call them the engineers of the forest floor because of how much they shape their environment. Formica ants are incredible architects. In forests, they build huge mound nests out of pine needles, twigs, and soil. These mounds can reach up to two meters wide and one meter tall. Imagine that, an ant city the size of a small hill. But there's a purpose behind this design genius. The mound helps regulate temperature inside the nest. During the day, the dark material absorbs sunlight, keeping the nest warm for the developing larvae. At night, the heat stays trapped, creating a stable microclimate, perfect for raising new generations of worker ants. Their tunnels extend deep underground, connecting chambers used for different functions. But Formica ants aren't just builders. They're fearless warriors. When their nest is threatened, they attack in coordinated waves. These ants can spray formic acid from the tips of their abdomens, which irritates the eyes and skin of predators or rival ants. They also use teamwork to overpower enemies. You'll see them swarm intruders, biting and spraying acid at the same time. It's not just defense. Sometimes they go on the offense. Some species of Formica ants actually raid other ant colonies capturing their larvae and raising them as their own workers, a behavior known as slavery parasitism. It sounds brutal, but it's part of how they survive and expand their colonies. Formica ants are also in a fascinating mutual relationship with aphids, 
tiny sap-sucking insects. The ants protect the aphids from predators, and in return, they collect the sweet honeydew that the aphids produce. It's like a mini farming system right there in the grass. Without formica ants, forests and grasslands would be much less balanced. They're nature's recyclers, protectors, and caretakers all in one. All right, let's see how much you learned. Here are three trivia questions. Ready? Let's get started. Question one. Which chemical do formica ants use for defense? A. Formic acid. B. Hydrochloric acid. C. Citric acid. D. Sulfuric acid. Correct answer. A. Formic acid. Formica ants produce formic acid in specialized glands and can spray it at predators or rivals. The name formica literally inspired the word formic acid. This acid can sting the skin and deter larger animals or other insects. In large battles, formica ants even combine their acid with bites to make it more effective. A brilliant example of chemical warfare in the insect world. Question 2. How do formica ant mounds help regulate temperature? A. They trap cold air inside. B. They absorb sunlight and retain heat. C. They reflect sunlight. D. They store water for cooling. Correct answer. B. They absorb sunlight and retain heat. The mound's material, pine needles, soil, and twigs, acts like natural insulation. During the day, sunlight warms the mound, and at night, the structure retains that heat, keeping the nest cozy. This makes it easier for ants to survive colder climates and raise their young safely. It's a natural heating system built entirely by instinct and teamwork. Question 3. What is the term for formica ants taking larvae from other colonies? A. Brood adoption. B. Nest merging. C. Slavery parasitism. D. Colony trading. Correct answer. C. Lavery parasitism. In slavery parasitism, formica ants invade neighboring nests, steal the brood, larvae and pupae, and bring them back to their own nest. Once those larvae mature, they become workers who serve the formica colony that captured them. It's a striking example of how complex and sometimes ruthless nature can be. Narrator. And that's a wrap on our journey with the mighty Formica ants, the builders, warriors, and caretakers of the forest floor. If you enjoy this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.